Good afternoon and welcome to the first game of our virtual Rhett Basketball Round Robin Tournament. You can catch the games right here on Fridays at 1.30 and if you miss one of the games, uh, they will be linked to our Cozy Connects web page along with lots of other fantastic content. My name is Lori Miller and I'm manager of Living Collections here at Cozy. I will be available after the game to answer any questions you have about our rats and how we get them to play basketball or any other questions that you have about our collection in general. Without further ado, I'm going to turn things over to our announcers, Steve and Guy. Hello and welcome to COSI, the Rap Basketball Association, our first game of the RBA Rap Basketball Tournament. We have uh, Echo on the left and Blue on the right, and they're off. I should mention I'm Steve by play, and with me as always is Guy Talks A Lot. Thanks, Steve. It's great to be here. Absolutely there, Guy. Oh, wow. What a thrilling game. We've got a point apiece. Oh, now Echo going in for another one. Yeah, we should mention to our viewers here that rap basketballs, of course, uh, score just one point at a time, not two or three at a time, as is the way with a normal basketball. Thanks for pointing that out, Guy. Really appreciate it. Boy, these rats are really going to it. Uh, Blue struggling with the ball there a little bit. Oh, she's got it, and now she's through the hoop. Yeah, wow. So, uh, Guy, I noticed after these rats are scoring, they're going to those little holes in the side of the court. Could you tell our viewers more about that? Yeah, absolutely. See, what we're seeing here is a classic example of operant conditioning. See, the rats are being rewarded with treats every time they score a ball through the hoop. Interesting treats. Do you know what those are? Uh, yeah, they're being rewarded with toasted oat rings. Toasted oat rings? Isn't there a name for that guy? A brand name? Yeah, Steve, it's called We Don't Want to Get Sued. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be back right after this. COSI may be closed, but we are open for fun and engaging science through COSI Connects, COSI's digital doorway for fun, at-home science discovery and learning. Every day, we're going to deliver fresh, exciting, and engaging science through COSI videos and hands-on activities you can try at home. Follow us here and visit COSI.org slash COSI Connects for your daily science activity. We look forward to sharing great science with you. And we're back. Right now, we have Echo leading by a score of 21 to 15. Oh, but Blue takes it right through the hoop. Yeah, but Echo got it right back, going right back through there again. These rats will not quit. Absolutely. So uh, something interesting I've noticed here, Guy, is that it seems as though Blue is playing on the orange side of the court, but Echo is playing on the blue side of the court. Well, you know what, Steve? There are no rules when it comes to colors and sides of the court in rap basketball. I hear that. Echo getting the ball, putting it right back through the hoop there again. Uh, going back for that treat again. Oh, Blue getting it back, taking it back through. Oh, my goodness, what a play. Blue will not quit. Uh, is there any way we could get a get a, a replay of that there? Well, uh, Guy, I'm hearing from the booth. Turns out this is being filmed on a handheld camera phone, and we shouldn't get our hopes up. Well, I hear that. Uh, Blue getting some garbage time points, but I think this has all been over. Absolutely, we're winding down here. Echo putting it through, and there's the buzzer with a final score of 26 to 19. I'm Steve. This was Guy. Thanks for joining us. This has been brought to you by COSI, a nonprofit science and technology center in Columbus, Ohio. If you liked this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Also, please consider a donation to COSI so we can continue to engage, inspire, and transform lives and communities by making science accessible to everyone, everywhere. For more information, visit COSI.org support. Well, we hope you enjoyed their game. I've got Echo, the winner, with me here. She's going to hang out with us while we answer some questions. Um, we already have a few coming in. Um, so Katie um, is asking what the names of our newest group of four rats is at COSI. We do have 13 rats here at COSI. Um, two of the girls that you just saw playing are a part of um, the uh, raptor squad. So they're named after the raptors um, from Jurassic World. Um, and then we have some brand new babies that were just born in February and they're named after scientists. So we've got Mary Curie, uh, Rosalind Franklin, Jane Goodall, and Kathy Sullivan. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> so we have been playing rap basketball here at COSI for a really long time. Um, we've been having it as a staple here for about 36 years. So, um, 
uh, when I started playing here. Um, and it actually started right here at Coast Eye, so you can see it at other science um, institutions um, at all. We're from here. Uh, when we first moved over to the new building, um, it got taken um, out of play um, and it got brought back because people love it so much. Um, and it's a really great way for us to um, talk about operant conditioning or positive reinforcement, which is how we get them to play. So I have, how old is Echo? That's a good question. Echo is, I actually have their birth dates with me. Um, they were born uh, December 12th, 2017. So they'll be three in December. Good question. Thanks, Amy. Um, all right. How do you make sure that they don't eat too many treats or food from the plane? That's a really good question. Um, so at this point, once they learn how to play, um, they just like playing. Um, and so we don't have to limit their treats too much. Um, I'm giving Echo here lots of really big banana chips um, right now. So they do get the bulk of their diet uh, is a rodent block pellet um, that has all the nutrients that they need. Um, and they do like that food. So um, they seem to self-regulate. And also those post notes. <laughs> Karen, how long does it take to train a rat? That's a really good question. So depending on how many trainers we have training them, um, different trainers have uh, variations in how they train. So the more trainers you have, the longer it takes um, to train a rat. Now having one trainer that's training multiple times a day, um, we were able to train them in as little as two weeks. Crazy impressive. So lends itself to how smart these rats are, um, because rat basketball is a very difficult uh, multi-step behavior. Now, typically with the amount of trainers that we have, um, we can train these girls in about two months. Also depends on the rat. So some rats are better at playing uh, basketball than others, and some pick it up faster than others. Um, the funny thing is that usually um, we train them to different sides. And so um, we bring them in in groups of fours, and typically whatever side we decide that they need to shoot on, um, those guys typically shoot better than the other side. It's a weird thing. <laughs> anyway. Pretty good. You guys had some really good questions. Um, we do have, uh, again, the different groups. So um, we've got Plunk, who's our oldest rat. She's retired um, and named after our old adventure exhibit. Um, the Raptor's Prod, which we named when we brought in our dinosaur gallery. Um, we have the Cheese it um, which you will get to see play in just a couple of weeks. So they're a part of this round robin tournament. Uh, and then the scientists. So um, we are currently training the scientists right now, um, which is a lot of fun. All right. Well, it looks like we've answered everyone's questions. Um, please make sure you come on back next week. Um, we will be playing the other two Raptor Squad, um, Charlie and Delta. All right. <laughs> uh, right here at 1.30. Again, if you missed the game, um, you can check it out on Coastai Connects, and we hope to see you again next week. Thank you guys for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed rat basketball. <laughs>